Hi, and welcome to this DCT tutorial on bulk editing. This feature allows users to download a template of the entire active curriculum set with the current values for a specific field, and then bulk edit and re-upload the template updating all of the values for a specific field at once. This feature is best used when large-scale changes need to be made to the existing programs or courses in a college's curriculum, such as updating all of the program or course descriptions to remove odd characters. This tool should not be used in place of updating the original data source, but can be used as a quick fix to get started with the authoring process. Bulk edits are currently offered for learning outcomes, descriptions, and YouTube IDs for programs, and then descriptions, units, prerequisites, and co-requisites for courses. For this tutorial, I will be showing how to do a bulk edit for prerequisites, co-requisites, on courses. From the Courses dashboard, scroll down to the section you wish to make changes to. In this case, the Course Prerequisite Co-Requisite section. Then click the Fix button. This section is a bit unique as prerequisites and co-requisites share the same bulk edit, but it can be accessed from two different sections. By clicking on the Review Change button for the Change Prerequisites or Change Co-requisite sections, users will be able to access the same bulk edit. After clicking the Review Change button, a new page will appear with the Bulk Edit button located underneath the header section on the right side of the page. For each section with a Bulk Edit option, this is where the button will appear. Click the Bulk Edit button. From the new page, click the Download button in Step 1 to pull the template with the current values. Then, open the file downloaded to make any changes. For prerequisites and co-requisites, please remember that only course subject and numbers are valid entries. All other entries will be invalid, give warnings in DCT, and will not be published. Once all of the changes have been made, save the file, ensuring to save it as a CSV, and return to DCT. In step two, either drag and drop the updated file or use the browse button to find the updated file. Once the file is selected, click the import button. If the bulk edit is successful, there will be a success message at the bottom of the screen and you will be returned to the editing dashboard. Thanks for joining us for this tutorial. We'll see you in the next one.